guys welcome back to another video today I'm going to show you things to do in Melbourne rain hail or shine because we know that the weather here is so unpredictable so yeah starting with a coffee which I'm having right now I've got my soy latte and I'm here at Arba which is a really cool cafe here inside Crown Towers and yeah it's great because it's indoors so if it's raining this is a great place to visit but I'm going to show you some more things so I'm just gonna start with the coffee first so cheers So the second place on my list is the NGV here in Federation Square and the reason that I put this on the list today is because one, it's free and two, it's undercover so you know Melbourne, you never know when you're going to get rain, hail or shine, maybe shine. This place is perfect no matter what the weather brings and my friend Olympia features in a beautiful exhibition here at the moment which I definitely recommend you check out. But yeah, this is such a cool space. There are so many great things to see. There's even a cafe and the gift shop is always my favorite place to go. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. The third place on my list is Hosea Lane because even if it is raining, this one is well worth a visit. It's one of the probably most visited laneways in the CBD just because it's so colourful and the beautiful street art pieces change, you know, daily, weekly, they're always in rotation and yeah, this is a great splash of colour in the city and it's also perfect for your Insta photos. So let's take a little look. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la 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 la. My God, I think I might be in love. Get rid of all your sorrows in the summer city. You'll never feel alone as long as you're with me. Get rid of all your sorrows. So my list is the Block Arcade and also the Royal Arcade. I mean any of the arcades here in Melbourne are a must see and the best part is they're all undercover unless they're outdoors but these ones are undercover and you could spend hours in here. There are so many places to eat, drink coffee and shop and honestly the boutiques in these arcades are so special. They have things that you might not see in places like Myers or David Jones so they're definitely worth a visit. The Block Arcade is my absolute favourite. It just transports me to somewhere far away. It feels like I'm leaving Melbourne when I come in here and going to Paris. Honestly, it's so beautiful and at this time of the year they even put up the most magical Christmas decorations so I'm in my element but I also do love the Royal Arcade as well which I'm going to show you next so let's head over there. In the summer city there's no place on earth I would rather be So I know I said that the Block Arcade was my favourite but the Royal Arcade comes in close it's such a beautiful spot this one and They've got their Christmas decorations up at the moment, which makes it even more magical. But if it's raining in Melbourne and you're stuck for ideas on what to do, then this is the perfect place to take shelter. There are so many cute boutiques here and food stores. We've got this beautiful chocolate shop next to me. There's a crystal shop over there. There are so many little bits and pieces to go and have a look at. You could waste hours here. I wouldn't say waste actually because you know what? That is not time wasted. It's just such a great place to see. So add that to your list. And to get here, you just walk from the Block Arcade, cross Little Collins Street, and you're here. Then you walk that way and you've got even more to see with Burke Street Mall. So that's why I love Melbourne so much is because of the laneways. They make up this kind of like, you know, hidden part of the city that if you, if you blink, you might just miss it. So it's worth having a look, exploring and seeing what's around. Let's go. I found you today. It feels like it's been forever. Laughing all day. We spin around, we spin around. Your hand reaches mine. Feels like I can do anything. Just give me a mountain to climb. You sing. 
if even after all of those ideas, you're still stuck on what to do in Melbourne, perhaps you're in your hotel room right now and it's pouring down with rain, well, here's the solution. The Emporium or Burke Street Mall is great because I am sure that it will keep you very busy, especially if you love your shopping like me. And the best part is here at the Emporium on level two, they have a lot of Australian designers. So you've got Alice McCall, you've got Zimmerman, Manning Cartel. These are all some really beautiful Australian made brands. So they're well worth a look if you're in town and you know, if you're looking to buy some really different pieces to bring back home with you. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam. I'd love to have you on board. And leave a comment down below. What's your favorite thing to do in Melbourne, rain, hail or shine? Thanks for watching guys and have an amazing day because you deserve it. I'll see you soon. Bye. See what I mean guys, every time I come here I have to take something home with me and this is from Paula Zempatti, another great Australian designer. I'm going to go and see what else I can find. I'll be back soon.